In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this cool effect with a tiger paw and text, which is two tone. So we've got black tiger text and then inside the paw, we've got this orange tiger text and it the pattern of the text continues from the outside of the paw and into the inside of the paw, kind of like a text pop -up. So let's give this a go and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off by going to elements and you're gonna search for a tiger paw. Now I am using this tiger paw here. Um, it is a, if we go to info, it is a um, vector from Pixabay and it is free to use. Uh, however, um, it's free to use for personal use. So if you want to use this and you want to use it to resell, you're going to have to create your own um, image of a tiger paw. Now, a couple of ways you can do this is you can use this uh, and sort of trace it using the draw tool and then um, fill it all in with black. But at the end, this is the type of image you need to have. You need to have like a black image like this. So what we're going to do now, once you have your final image, is you're going to go to the share button and you're going to download this uh, PNG. So I'm going to download that and um, we're going to go to a website called convert.io and we're going to grab that image and we're going to drop it in here and we're going to convert this image to an SVG. So we're going to come here, we're going to go to SVG and we're going to say convert. And then once it's done, we're going to download that image. So I'm going to download it and now I'm going to open up Word, Microsoft Word. And I'm going to um, upload that image that I downloaded. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to pictures. I'm going to click this device and I'm going to search for that tiger paw, which is in my downloads. And here it is right here. And I'm going to insert it there. Now, once you insert it into your Microsoft Word, you have to convert this item to a shape. So we're going to click convert to shape. All right, once you do that, you can just click on the shape, go to shape format, and we need to fill this shape with an image so that um, it creates the frame that we can upload back into Canva. So I'm just gonna go to stock images. I'm gonna place an image in there. It doesn't matter what image we place in there. And the next step is we're going to save this as a PDF. So we're going to come here. I'm going to go to uh, my downloads because that's where I want to save it. And I'm going to save this as a dog, uh, sorry, as a tiger paw frame. And the format is going to be PDF. Okay. And I'm going to save that. We don't need Word anymore, so I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add another page. And now I'm going to go to my files. And I'm going to search for that file that I just downloaded, which is right here. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to bring it right into my left panel to upload. And we'll give that a few uh, minutes. Okay, now we're going to go over to projects and here is that tiger paw. Now these are individual frames, so I'm just going to take them and I'm going to group them and I'm going to make them a little bit larger like this. By the way, I will have a tiger paw available on my shop and I'll link that in the comments and in the description. The tiger paw I create will be a custom tiger paw. It will not be this tiger paw because I want to create my own frame from scratch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this frame. We're going to right click and we're going to say detach 
image. Again, we're going to do the same here. Detach image. Again, detach image. You can press delete, but sometimes that deletes the whole frame. So that's why I'm being extra careful to right click and say detach. image. OK, so now we have our frame ready. I'm going to add another page. So the next step is for us to create that tiger text. So here is my workspace. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to add a text box. And in here, uh, I'm going to make that a little bit larger for now. And I'm going to type in here in all caps, tiger. And now we're going to look for a varsity font. So we're going to come over here and let's see what we can find. We're going to use Wildcat College for this. And we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take this text box and I'm going to place it here. And this will be our first word on the page. So I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to put that here. And I'll create another one. I'll put, put that there. Now, I want them all to be the same size. So I'm just going to grab them all and reduce them and place them like that. And now I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to duplicate again and duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. OK, and once you're happy with the position of the word on your workspace, what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this. So of this design. So I'm just going to make a copy, which is right here. And I'm going to grab all this text. And we're going to change this to orange. So I'll come here and I'll change it to orange. OK, perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download these two pages as images. So I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go to download. And I'm going to download only pages three and four. I'll download page three first and then four. That way I don't have to unzip the folder. So I'll download page three. And I'm going to leave it with a white background. It's not going to be transparent. So I'm going to download page three. And then I'm going to download page four. All right, so we're going to go back up to our frame. And we're going to bring in those images. OK, so here they are. So the and I'm so let me just put them aside for a sec. OK, so for this one is going to go in behind the tiger paw. So let's go to position and layers. And we're going to bring that right behind the paw and we're going to bring it And we're going to make that wider. And um, you can just make sure that that is where you want it. So if you want the tiger paw smaller, you can make it smaller. But here is the tiger paw on the page. Now we're going to grab this other tiger text and we're going to need five copies so i'm just going to make a few more copies of this and i'm going to start to position them inside the frame okay and i'll put each one inside the frame like this okay now the final step is for us to double click on the individual frames and resize the image so that it's it's overlapping the 
black text image of tiger. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to make it larger. And just make sure that it is overlapping. Okay, once I'm done, I'll go to the next frame and I'll do the same thing. All right. Uh, so a few more things that we need to do. So I'm going to grab this and we're going to place a border around our tiger paw. So we're going to come here and we're going to select border and we're going to change this border to white and we're going to make it just a little bit thicker. So we're going to come here and we're going to increase the border weight just a little bit. Now, once you're satisfied, you can click the copy style and you can apply that style to the rest of the paws. Now, if you think it's too thick, then you can most certainly make it thinner by just going back and just toggling it down a little bit. Okay. So let's do that because I do think it was a little bit too thick, quite honestly. Okay, so this is our final design, but there's one more thing that we can actually do. And this is optional. I know I always say that it's optional. What if we added some lines, some lines to the black text, uh, but not the orange text. So let's go into elements and let's take a look uh, and see if we can find some uh, lines in here. And let's use this one right here. We're going to use this one. And let's bring it up here. And let's expand it so that it goes all the way through all of the text. And let's make this white. And now what we'll do is we'll put, push that grid right behind the orange pot. So there is one option right there. What do you think of this? And of course, you might have to just reposition it to make sure that it is going over all of the text and it's in a position that you like. So that's one option. The other option is for us to, and I'm just going to take this and move it to the side here. And then the other option is for us to use a, a grid. So let's search for a grid and um, we can put this on here and we can also change the color of this to white as well. And if you can't, if you don't see a color chooser, you can always use Duotone to change the color to white. Um, so that's what that would look like. So let's see if we position it behind the orange paw. So that's what it looks like behind the orange paw. But what if we rotated it? So let's see what it would look like if we rotated it like this. So what do you think? Which one do you like better? This one or the other one or this one like this? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos, just let me know in the comments as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.